Bodine 52 with you. Hi folks, hope you are well. I am out on a beautiful fall day taking one of my favorite roads with the motorcycle because I really haven't been able to be out riding because of the weather and it's fall. Well, it feels like winter sometimes, but it's fall. So I know there's got to be beautiful views up here. So I thought I would take you along for that. You know, it's interesting. I wonder how many people go out for just the ride and just the fall scene or both of them. And, you know, I know when the leaves are falling, that's really dangerous. And But when you're out in the fall and beautiful and the sign says winding road next two and a half miles, you got to be out, right? You got to be out. So... I'm looking at the trees so far and I am not so sure I'm seeing that beautiful fall stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure so sure I'm seeing the leaves. Where in the heck are they at? What is going on here? This doesn't seem right. Well, maybe it's a little bit better there. It has been crappy weather here in the beautiful state of Pennsylvania a little lately. And uh, not a lot of riding time getting close to where the beautiful 2018 Ultra Limited has to go to sleep for a while and uh, man I surely wish at times that I lived in a in a warmer climate that is for sure for sure you know I, I as I when I was growing up as a kid you always hear people talk about being snowbirds and living somewhere warm in the winter and somewhere in maybe in a colder climate in the summertime and um, I used to think ah, that's just what old people do I ain't gonna do that right you know what as you get older you're like eh, those old people are pretty smart as you become one so that's one of my predicaments as I uh, put another five to eight years into work on what I'm gonna do um, but I'll tell you what, it sure is nice being out today and just uh, seeing some colors, uh, but not what I expected, surprisingly. It is late October, and um, the leaves are falling and changing colors, I guess, somewhere. And I will tell you, it's interesting, Mrs. Bodine was out running an errand last night and she said she saw and it was about seven o'clock had to be at least 20 deer so I know I've done videos on those before um, I know I did a video where I almost hit one with my truck and uh, just be safe folks if you will again remembering that that first hour and a half of light and that last hour and a half of dark and first hour of dark is when they're normally on the move and uh, more susceptible to seeing them on the road where we are traveling and we don't have a lot of stopping power with our motorcycles when you hit it here so please be careful of that and uh, still great to get out even though the fall colors are not totally out yet or maybe because I haven't been out riding in a while they're just gone um, but what do you guys do I mean where do you where are you from and and when does the colors change and when do you start seeing that stuff and when are they all on the ground where you're feeling that it's not safe to ride um, I was watching a fellow moto vlogger last night and he was out riding or leaves everywhere. He would not a, on a Harley, but oh, here we go. Now we're getting into some pretty stuff. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And there were leaves everywhere, and I'm just like, wow, that's making me feel uncomfortable for the guy, let alone myself, right? So, uh, you know, those those leaves start coming down, and his was where he was at. It was even a little wet, and I'm like, man, I'm not good with that. So, hey, Evans City Cemetery. If you've never seen my cemetery video, 
and you're not totally freaked out about the idea, check it out under my videos. It was a big deal for me to go up in the cemetery with my motorcycle. But I am glad I did. So that is my little jaunt through the colors close to the homestead. Not what I thought they would be. But uh, hopefully nonetheless you saw a couple of them. Hope you're enjoying your fall. Be safe out there in the leaves and, and everything else you do. Um, you know, not only riding the bike, but outside of outside of that there's a lot of uh deer out right now and there's a lot of kids out as uh, the buses are out i know um, halloween and stuff like that and you know at the end of the day our safety our family and our kids are the most important things that we have so um please do that and also, if you're not busy, could you please come to this intersection and tell people that it is actually polite to let somebody in and also difficult to wave thank you when you are making a turn and shifting. So, because um, if you don't do those things, you're going to end up right there. And that is a funeral home. So don't do that. Be safe. Ride safe. Ride smart. Enjoy yourself. And as always, Thanks for checking in with Bodine 52, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.